So we're here with Magellan Systems. Hello, so who are you? Uh, fine, thank you. Yes, hello everybody. I'm uh, Nobuhiro Kishimoto, the CEO and also founder of the company. So what are you showing here? Is it a drone? Uh, no, what no. can you do? Uh, actually, the, uh, we are not a drone maker, but the, we supplied GPS to this, comp this application. GPS solution? Yes, exactly. So how does it work? Yes, okay. Um, this would be helpful. Uh, especially our GPS has very accurate in positioning. So yeah. accuracy is less than one centimeter. And so one centimeter. One centimeter. Yes. One centimeter GPS. Yes. yes. How does it work? What is the CPU here? Is it Lattice? Uh, Lattice. It's a FPGA. FPGA from Lattice? Yes. And uh, what is the, the other one? The other one is a DSP and the processor is uh, ARM9. ARM9 yes. CPU? Yes. And also the other advantage of our, uh, our company is the IMU. The IMU stands from Inertial Measurement Unit. Which one? Uh, the bigger board. The board? Yes. And there are three sensors uh, above the uh, L1 GNSS module. Yeah? Yes. Three sensors are uh, this uh, gyro and also the motion sensor. Uh, gyro is, motion, yes. And well, you can go to uh, with your IMU yes. GNSS system. You yes. can go then so to that, so super that, precision. Yes, so that we may output the high accurate position and also the uh, pitch, in pitch and low and yo, and also timing. So, so why so why is it important for the agriculture? Why it's only for agriculture? It can be for everything, no? Uh, no. Only agriculture. Yes. Good. Not, not only agriculture. Everything. Yes, this is one of the applications. However, the, for example, the agriculture needs a very, very accurate positioning. Because, yeah. for example, the, uh, each, the distance of each plant is less than 30 centimeters. So in order to avoid to press over, the, such accuracy is needed. Nice. Because and it says here, next generation high, yes. high precision, multi-frequency, multi-GNSS. Yes, that's this stuff. Uh, this is uh, the news pro one uh, in this morning yeah. in Japan, just in this morning. And anyway, the, uh, QZSS is a Japanese uh, SPAS system, and uh, currently the only one satellite in the orbit. However, it will be uh, it will be in four or well, let's say full service within this year. In Japan. In Japan. And then that and our, that's a competitor to GPS. Uh, no, it's like the, GPS or is it data? Using GPS and also the, this uh, working together. Along to have more accuracy. Exactly. And one of uh, the advantage of uh, using QZSS signal would be the uh, accuracy. Nice. Yes. So that's what allow. That would be very important for a self-driving car, no? Exactly. You exactly. can put this in a car. Yes. Now we are talking with a tier one company uh, as for uh, self-driving and also the V2X. So this is precision down to centimeter. Yes, exactly. One centimeter. One centimeter. Less than one centimeter. Yes. We say we say sub centimeter. Sub centimeter. Yes. Precision. Yes. Is that the most accurate in the world? Yes. Nobody can do more accurate. Uh, no, the, it's, there are some solution. However, using QZSS, yeah. this is a Japanese uh, SPAS satellite. How the, about, uh, is there a QZSS system for Europe or USA or no? At this moment, the Japanese government is uh, discussing with the European uh, Union of, uh, of Galileo Society. Do you have uh, some other systems? Uh, is Magellan or what's it called, the other one? Uh, mm. uh, in Europe, they want to do a different one. Yes, Galileo. Ah, Galileo? Yes. And you are Magellan? Yes. So and you see the whole spectrum? Yes, exactly. Right. And Galileo has uh, E6 spectrum and the Jeep and QZSS has L6. All so, right. So, so same frequency. So now Japanese government uh, try to uh, co try to uh, share the same similar. But do you do a chipset? You make chipset? Yes. At this moment, uh, the, we are in this phase. Now we are talking with a uh, chip, chip company regarding to uh, RF into the chip. Then, year 2018, we will have a uh, commercial. Yes, complete set of chipset. So this complete is SOC. A, exactly. With ARM. ARM? Yes. With, with a, DSP. And RF also. RF DSP. solution. Yes. 
So cool. Looking forward to more precise uh, future. Yes. It's very, very interesting, no? Thank you so much. See, at this moment, this is 10 centimeter times 9 centimeter. However, we are planning to shrink into uh, 1 centimeter square. All right. So that the cost can be reduced and also the power consumption will be reduced drastically. And the satellite, all four, is coming next year? Yes. This year or next year? Next year. Next year, uh, all the satellites will be there. Will be there. And also, not only uh, QZSS, but also the, the system will support GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Beidou, and SBAS. So, most of our uh, constellation in multi frequency.